Hey guys, what is up? Inazilla here with another episode of VGC 2020. Where we basically just play some VGC format battles. Going on the ranked ladder today because that tournament ended like last week. So yeah, let's just uh, hop right on, on into here. See my rank climb up a little bit from a win I got last time. I will be using the same team, just with a slight edit. I took the life orb off my Excadrill. Well, I, com I bred a completely new Excadrill. Um, took Adamant Nature off, gave it Jolly. Took the life orb off and gave it a Focus Sash. So I'm more prepared for opposing sand teams now. And I, did, I reworked the EV spread on my Dragapult so that it's a lot tankier now. But it doesn't hit as hard, so... Yeah, this is going to be a Dusclops team, and it looks like he's got the follow me to go along with it. Um, what should we do? What should we lead with here? Um, I won't be too, too terrible if he got his uh, trick room off, I don't think, with that team. So I'm just going to go with the, the basic lead that I usually go with, with Sylveon and Dragapult. This is a completely new Dragapult. I just re like I got one off of surprise trade and uh, just uh, EV trained it and grinded it to level 100 and hyper trained the one stat it was missing. So that's what's really nice about Pokemon Sword and Shield. I really love that about this game. You uh, have the you don't need to like completely rebreed something just to make it competitive. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, I need to pick two more Pokemon. Um, my sand team, uh, I don't know if he's, if he's able to get Trick Room off, he'll beat me. I don't need that. So I guess I'm going to have to go with... Um... Serena and uh, Milotic, I guess. If uh, Milotic and uh, uh, Serena are out at the same time as that, uh, what's it called, the Incineroar, it's okay. He can kill my um, Serena with Flare Blitz and I'll be able to finish him off with Scald. So, if that happens, I depending on what's left on the field, shouldn't be too big of a deal. So, yeah, let's just hop right into this battle. So, me, Inazilla versus Japanese guy, number 12. I can't read that, I am sorry. I am a bit of a weeb, not too, too much, but I never got, a, got around to learning the language. I know some of the words, I can speak some. So, what's he leading off with? That is fine. I do not think Primarina gets, um, follow me, does it? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. If I'm able to knock this Dusclops off, uh, off, uh, out right now and force him, or force him to switch, that would be really awesome. So, let's just, uh, I re I reworked the EV so that I'm still guaranteed to, uh, kill the Dusclops in one hit. Which is always really nice, but I'm able to live Life Orb, Adamant, Max, uh, Worm Winds, and Phantasms from other Dragapults, because that was causing me issues. The Life Orb Dragapults during the tournament were beating me almost every- Some were- Some were beating me and some weren't. I think it was some running Adamant, some running Jolly. I don't know. Their EV spreads too could be the factor. But either way, I guarantee live those now unless I get crit, which will probably happen. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna proc my own weakness policy here with Quick Attack. I'm gonna blow up that Dusclops. He's probably gonna hit me with Moonblast or Dynamax himself. And uh, what's the fairy move called? Starfall? I don't think it should kill because I'm pretty bulky now. I invested a little... I, I don't remember how much I invested into my special defense on Dragapult. But yeah. Yeah, he's Dynamaxing his Primarina. I should be able to live. And if not, I can probably blow him up, up with a Helping Hand next turn. Helping Hand uh, Phantasm. Because I'll be faster than him. Alright. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, my commentary is a little rusty right now. Quick Attack. Boom. Proc the Weakness Policy. See, my uh, Quick Attacks are usually knocking me down to 344 hit points-ish every time I hit myself with it. And that was, uh, yeah, I'm just a little, more, uh, a little bit more bulky now. And that thing is Gonzo's. No trick room for you. No trick room for you, buddy. Delete, bye bye But now the Starfall, how much is it going to do? Geyser, awesome, possum. It's awesome. I just, I literally just threw my hands up right there because I, I was so excited about that. 
If he wants rain up, that's fine. That's I'm fine with that. Life orb. Oh, neat. He didn't go for starfall. That is awesome. Now, unless I like royally screw up or he pulls some magic out of his butt, I should be able to pull this W off. Communicating. 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 Anyways, guys, how are you guys doing? Tojikiss. Okay, that thing might have fall on me. But let us helping hand. Anyway, Phantasm. Let's go attack the Primarina in case he doesn't go for follow me. And if we do, then we knock out the Togekiss, which is always nice. Alright, helping hand. Did he follow me? Did he follow me? Did he follow me? Nope. Bye, Primarina. Minus one defense, helping hand. Yeah, that thing's Gonzo's. Bye. And then, uh, hopefully this Togekiss doesn't go for the, what's it called? Um, what's that, uh, Crit Kiss. Don't get the crit on me. Awesome. Crit Sylveon, that's... We crit both of us, it's a 50% chance to crit. I don't, I don't think Scope Lens adds to that, does it? Either way, it's fine. Send Milotic out here for some speed control. Milotic, Milotic. I don't know, I've never pronounced it right. <laughs> Ever since like Ruby and Sapphire came out. Okay, we got Ferrothorn. Ouch. Okay, let us Icy Wind here. And hopefully we don't proc a weakness policy. Phantasm that Ferrothorn. Knock its defense down a little bit. Maybe kill it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Max Phantasm. Is this going to kill? Uh, plus two attack. Of course not. Nope. Not for me. I don't get the kill. But his defense is down, so... Yeah, um... So, so Arena should be able to handle it later. Ooh! He crit my low tick. Good thing he didn't crit Dragapult. Don't have a uh, weakness policy. Well, if he does, it's okay. I can just kill him next turn. Unless he kills my Dragapult with his Ferrothorn somehow. Speed fell. Doesn't look like he got a weakness policy. Speed fell. Still no weakness policy. Great. Iron defense. Okay, so he's at plus one defense. I am going to kill this Ferrothorn right now because it is a pain in the butt. All right, so what I'm going to do is Icy Wind. No, I'm gonna scald the Togekiss and I am going to Acrobatics the Ferrothorn because I can't have it doing iron defensey things to me. Okay, he wants to run protect. He kills um, Dragapult this turn. Let's go for the Scald, just for like some, some juicy damage. Hope we get a burn. Of course not. My low tick doesn't get, get crit this time. Dragapult does, doesn't matter. And we got ourselves a fight. We got ourselves a fight, guys. We see that his Ferrothorn has the Protect, but he just went for it, so he shouldn't be able to land another one. That would really suck if he did. So I'm going to have to go balls to the wall here. And I am going to high jump kick it right in the dick. So high jump kick, Ferrothorn. Because U-turn won't kill it, it's got plus one defense. So, let us do this. What are you, what are you going to do? Icy Wind. Bam! Which one did I crit? It looks like I crit Togekiss. Okay, and hopefully I don't miss and he hit, hits me with Gyro Ball, because that would be garbage. And I lose. That sucks. Of course he, he crit my Serena. What are you going to do? Leech Seed now and protect with your Ferrothorn? Body press. Rain stopped. I have no choice but the icy wind again. He's gonna probably protect his Ferrothorn. Icy wind, I'm gonna attack the Togekiss this time. Cause icy wind won't kill. Okay, it, it's nice to know that I beat this guy, but if I lose, it's because of that high jump miss. 
10% chance to miss, but it doesn't happen all the time. Neat. So we go for the ice wind. Crit the Togekiss. Just knock it out. Of course not. Okay, okay, okay. Knock the Togekiss out unless we miss again. Bye bye. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Now it's a 2 on 1 for the Ferrothorn, and he's probably gonna get a kill here with that uh, body press. Yeah, and now he's gonna protect with his Ferrothorn, which is kinda lame, but what's, what kind of hit points is he at? I should be able to knock him out with U turn. Maybe not. Hmm. Is he gonna go for protect here? I'm gonna say probably and just U turn. Protect, yeah, and I have to go high jump kick next turn, because U-turn won't kill from yellow health. He's going to go for the double protect now, probably, because that's his best bet at winning, and that's 50% chance. So high jump kick. They should really make it so protect uh, automatically fails. Miss? Yes! Goodbye, Ferrothorn. Ooh. If he had Rocky Helmet, I would have got the L there. Yeah! Alright, so that's good game, buddy. Um, I'm still upset that I missed high jump kick, but I'm happy I got the W, so yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the Dragapult on this team, it doesn't hit as hard as my last Dragapult. But it's a lot bulkier, and if I was if I was less bulky in that game, I think I would have probably lost because it got hit with the toge by the Toge Kiss a couple times. So yeah, that's uh, a little bit of rework on my team. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and my other stuff I have up. Probably gonna be doing another max raid trolling sometime today. Probably well not. To I'm probably not gonna upload it the same day as this because I like to spread my uploads up, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna do another uh, Max Raid trolling. I'm probably gonna record it today and upload it probably day after I upload this, whenever that is. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.